Amino Acid, Wikipedia Article Audio Amino acids are organic compounds containing amine and carboxyl functional groups, along with a side chain specific to each amino acid. The key elements of an amino acid are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, although other elements are found in the side chains of certain amino acids. About 500 naturally occurring amino acids are known and can be classified in many ways. They can be classified according to the core structural functional groups locations as alpha, beta, gamma, or delta amino acids. Other categories relate to polarity, pH level, and side chain group type. In the form of proteins, amino acid residues form the second largest component of human muscles and other tissues. Beyond their role as residues in proteins, Amino acids participate in a number of processes such as neurotransmitter transport and biosynthesis. In biochemistry, amino acids having both the amine and the carboxylic acid groups attached to the first carbon atom have particular importance. They are known as 2, alpha, or alpha amino acids where R is an organic substituent known as a side chain. Often the term amino acid is used to refer specifically to these. They include the 22 proteinogenic amino acids, which combine into peptide chains to form the building blocks of a vast array of proteins. These are all L, stereoisomers, although a few D amino acids occur in bacterial envelopes, as a neuromodulator, and in some antibiotics. History General Structure 20 of the proteinogenic amino acids are encoded directly by triplet codons in the genetic code and are known as standard amino acids. The other two are selenocysteine and pyrrolysine. Pyrrolysine and selenocysteine are encoded via variant codons, for example, Selenocysteine is encoded by stop codon and cis element. Enformyl methionine is generally considered as a form of methionine rather than as a separate proteinogenic amino acid. Codon tRNA combinations not found in nature can also be used to expand the genetic code and form novel proteins known as alloproteins incorporating non proteinogenic amino acids. Many important proteinogenic and non-proteinogenic amino acids have biological functions. For example, in the human brain, glutamate and gamma-aminobutyric acid are, respectively, the main excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters. Hydroxyproline, a major component of the connective tissue collagen, is synthesized from proline. Glycine is a biosynthetic precursor to porphyrins used in red blood cells. Carnitine is used in lipid transport. Nine proteinogenic amino acids are called essential for humans because they cannot be produced from other compounds by the human body and so must be taken in as food. Others may be conditionally essential for certain ages or medical conditions. Essential amino acids may also differ between species. Because of their biological significance, amino acids are important in nutrition and are commonly used in nutritional supplements, fertilizers, and food technology. Industrial uses include the production of drugs, biodegradable plastics, and chiral catalysts. The first few amino acids were discovered in the early 19th century. In 1806, French chemists Louis Nicolas Vauquelin and Pierre Jean Robiquet isolated a compound in asparagus that was subsequently named asparagin, the first amino acid to be discovered. Cysteine was discovered in 1810, although its monomer, cysteine, remained undiscovered until 1884. Glycine and leucine were discovered in 1820. 
The last of the 20 common amino acids to be discovered was threonine in 1935 by William Cumming Rose, who also determined the essential amino acids and established the minimum daily requirements of all amino acids for optimal growth. Isomerism the unity of the chemical category was recognized by Wurtz in 1865, but he gave no particular name to it. Usage of the term amino acid in the English language is from 1898, while the German term, aminosaur, was used earlier. Proteins were found to yield amino acids after enzymatic digestion or acid hydrolysis. In 1902, Emil Fischer and Franz Hofmeister independently proposed that proteins are formed from many amino acids, whereby bonds are formed between the amino group of one amino acid with the carboxyl group of another, resulting in a linear structure that Fischer termed peptide. In the structure shown at the top of the page, R represents a side chain specific to each amino acid. The carbon atom next to the carboxyl group is called the alpha carbon. Amino acids containing an amino group bonded directly to the alpha carbon are referred to as alpha amino acids. These include amino acids such as proline which contain secondary amines, which used to be often referred to as amino acids. Side Chains the alpha amino acids are the most common form found in nature, but only when occurring in the L isomer. The alpha carbon is a chiral carbon atom, with the exception of glycine which has two indistinguishable hydrogen atoms on the alpha carbon. Therefore, all alpha amino acids but glycine can exist in either of two enantiomers, called L or D amino acids, which are mirror images of each other. While L-amino acids represent all of the amino acids found in proteins during translation in the ribosome, D-amino acids are found in some proteins produced by enzyme post-translational modifications after translation and translocation to the endoplasmic reticulum, as in exotic sea-dwelling organisms such as cone snails. They are also abundant components of the peptidoglycan cell walls of bacteria, and D serine may act as a neurotransmitter in the brain. D amino acids are used in racemic crystallography to create centrosymmetric crystals, which may allow for easier and more robust protein structure determination. The L and D convention for amino acid configuration refers not to the optical activity of the amino acid itself but rather to the optical activity of the isomer of glyceraldehyde from which that amino acid can, in theory, be synthesized. In alternative fashion, the N designators are used to indicate the absolute stereochemistry. Almost all of the amino acids in proteins are at the alpha carbon, with cysteine being in glycine non-chiral. Cysteine has its side chain in the same geometric position as the other amino acids, but the R-S terminology is reversed because of the higher atomic number of sulfur compared to the carboxyl oxygen gives the side chain a higher priority whereas the atoms in most other side chains give them lower priority. In amino acids that have a carbon chain attached to the alpha carbon the carbons are labeled in order as alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so on. In some amino acids, the amine group is attached to the beta or gamma carbon, and these are therefore referred to as beta or gamma amino acids. Amino acids are usually classified by the properties of their side chain into four groups. The side chain can make an amino acid a weak acid or a weak base, and a hydrophile if the side chain is polar or a hydrophobe if it is nonpolar. The chemical structures of the 22 standard amino acids, along with their chemical properties, are described more fully in the article on these proteinogenic amino acids. Tsvitarions 
The phrase branched chain amino acids or BCAA refers to the amino acids having aliphatic side chains that are nonlinear, these are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Proline is the only proteinogenic amino acid whose side group links to the alpha amino group and, thus, is also the only proteinogenic amino acid containing a secondary amine at this position. In chemical terms, proline is, therefore, an amino acid, since it lacks a primary amino group, although it is still classed as an amino acid in the current biochemical nomenclature, and may also be called an enalkylated alpha amino acid. Isoelectric point the alpha carboxylic acid group of amino acids is a weak acid, meaning that it releases a hydron at moderate pH values. In other words, carboxylic acid groups can be deprotonated to become negative carboxylates. The negatively charged carboxylate ion predominates at pH values greater than the pKa of the carboxylic acid group. In a complementary fashion, the alpha amine of amino acids is a weak base, meaning that it accepts a proton at moderate pH values. In other words, alpha amino groups can be protonate to become positive alpha ammonium groups. The positively charged alpha ammonium group predominates at pH values less than the pKa of the alpha ammonium group. Occurrence and functions in biochemistry because all amino acids contain amine and carboxylic acid functional groups, they share amphiprotic properties. Below pH 2.2, the predominant form will have a neutral carboxylic acid group and a positive alpha ammonium ion, and above pH 9.4, a negative carboxylate and neutral alpha amino group. But at pH between 2.2 and 9.4, an amino acid usually contains both a negative carboxylate and a positive alpha ammonium group, as shown in structure on the right, so has net zero charge. This molecular state is known as a Zwitterion, from the German Zwitter meaning hermaphrodite or hybrid. The fully neutral form on the left is a very minor species in aqueous solution throughout the pH range. Amino acids exist as Zwitterions also in the solid phase, and crystallize with salt-like properties unlike typical organic acids or amines. The variation in titration curves when the amino acids can be grouped by category. With the exception of tyrosine, using titration to distinguish among hydrophobic amino acids is problematic. Proteinogenic Amino Acids at pH values between the two pKa values, the Zwitterion predominates, but coexists in dynamic equilibrium with small amounts of net negative and net positive ions. At the exact midpoint between the two pKa values, the trace amount of net negative and trace of net positive ions exactly balance, so that average net charge of all forms present is zero. This pH is known as the isoelectric point pi, so pi equals one half. The individual amino acids all have slightly different pKa values, so have different isoelectric points. For amino acids with charged side chains, the pKa of the side chain is involved. Thus for ASP, GLO with negative side chains, pi equals one half where pKa R is the side chain pKa. Cysteine also has potentially negative side chain with pKa R equals 8.14, so pi should be calculated as for ASP and GLU, even though the side chain is not significantly charged at neutral pH. For his, less, and ARG with positive side chains, pi equals one half. Amino acids have zero mobility in electrophoresis at their isoelectric point, although this behavior is more usually exploited for peptides and proteins than single amino acids. 
Svitarions have minimum solubility at their isoelectric point and some amino acids can be isolated by precipitation from water by adjusting the pH to the required isoelectric point. Amino acids are the structural units that make up proteins. They join together to form short polymer chains called peptides or longer chains called either polypeptides or proteins. These polymers are linear and unbranched, with each amino acid within the chain attached to two neighboring amino acids. The process of making proteins encoded by DNA-RNA genetic material is called translation and involves the step-by-step -step addition of amino acids to a growing protein chain by a ribozyme that is called a ribosome. The order in which the amino acids are added is read through the genetic code from an mRNA template, which is a RNA copy of one of the organism's genes. 22 amino acids are naturally incorporated into polypeptides and are called proteinogenic or natural amino acids. Of these, 20 are encoded by the universal genetic code. The remaining two, selenocysteine and pyrrolysine, are incorporated into proteins by unique synthetic mechanisms. Selenocysteine is incorporated when the mRNA being translated includes a cis element, which causes the Yuga codon to encode selenocysteine instead of a stop codon. Pyrrolysine is used by some methanogenic archaea in enzymes that they use to produce methane. It is coded for with the codon UAG, which is normally a stop codon in other organisms. This UAG codon is followed by a pilus downstream sequence. Aside from the 22 proteinogenic amino acids, many non-proteinogenic amino acids are known. Those either are not found in proteins or are not produced directly and in isolation by standard cellular machinery. Non-proteinogenic amino acids that are found in proteins are formed by post-translational modification, which is modification after translation during protein synthesis. These modifications are often essential for the function or regulation of a protein. For example, the carboxylation of glutamate allows for better binding of calcium cations, and collagen contains hydroxyproline generated by hydroxylation of proline. Another example is the formation of hypusine in the translation initiation factor EIF5A, through modification of a lysine residue. Such modifications can also determine the localization of the protein, e.g., the addition of long hydrophobic groups can cause a protein to bind to a phospholipid membrane. Non-proteinogenic amino acids Some non-proteinogenic amino acids are not found in proteins. Examples include 2-aminoisobutyric acid and the neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid. Non-proteinogenic amino acids often occur as intermediates in the metabolic pathways for standard amino acids for example, ornithine and citrulline occur in the urea cycle part of amino acid catabolism. A rare exception to the dominance of alpha amino acids in biology is the beta amino acid beta alanine, which is used in plants and microorganisms in the synthesis of pantothenic acid, a component of coenzyme A. D-amino acid natural abundance D-isomers are uncommon in live organisms. For instance, Gramicidin is a polypeptide made up from mixture of D and L amino acids. Other compounds containing D amino acid are tyrosidin and valinomycin. These compounds disrupt bacterial cell walls, particularly in gram positive bacteria. Only 837 D amino acids were found in Swiss Prot database. Tryptophan is a precursor of the neurotransmitter serotonin, 
tyrosine are precursors of the catecholamine neurotransmitters dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine and various trace amines. Phenylalanine is a precursor of phenethylamine and tyrosine in humans. In plants, it is a precursor of various phenylpropanoids, which are important in plant metabolism. Glycine is a precursor of porphyrins such as heme. Arginine is a precursor of nitric oxide, ornithine and s adenosylmethionine are precursors of polyamines, aspartate, glycine, and glutamine are precursors of nucleotides. However, not all of the functions of other abundant non-standard amino acids are known. The 20 amino acids that are encoded directly by the codons of the universal genetic code are called standard or canonical amino acids. A modified form of methionine is often incorporated in place of methionine as the initial amino acid of proteins in bacteria, mitochondria, and chloroplasts. Other amino acids are called non-standard or non-canonical. Most of the non-standard amino acids are also non-proteinogenic, but two of them are proteinogenic, as they can be incorporated translationally into proteins by exploiting information not encoded in the universal genetic code. The two non-standard proteinogenic amino acids are selenocysteine and pyrrolysine. The incorporation of these non-standard amino acids is rare. For example, 25 human proteins include selenocysteine in their primary structure, and the structurally characterized enzymes employ seconds as the catalytic moiety in their active sites. Pyrrolysine and selenocysteine are encoded via variant codons. For example, selenocysteine is encoded by stop codon and cis element. When taken up into the human body from the diet, the 20 standard amino acids either are used to synthesize proteins and other biomolecules or are oxidized to urea and carbon dioxide as a source of energy. The oxidation pathway starts with the removal of the amino group by a transaminase, the amino group is then fed into the urea cycle. The other product of transamidation is a keto acid that enters the citric acid cycle. Glucogenic amino acids can also be converted into glucose, through gluconeogenesis. Of the 20 standard amino acids, 9 are called essential amino acids because the human body cannot synthesize them from other compounds at the level needed for normal growth, so they must be obtained from food. In addition, cysteine, taurine, tyrosine, and arginine are considered semi-essential amino acids in children, because the metabolic pathways that synthesize these amino acids are not fully developed. The amounts required also depend on the age and health of the individual, so it is hard to make general statements about the dietary requirement for some amino acids. Dietary exposure to the non-standard amino acid BMAA has been linked to human neurodegenerative diseases, including ALS. Non-standard amino acids In human nutrition Non-protein functions Uses in industry In humans Non-protein amino acids also have important roles as metabolic intermediates, such as in the biosynthesis of the neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid. Many amino acids are used to synthesize other molecules, for example. Some non-standard amino acids are used as defenses against herbivores in plants. For example, Cannabinine is an analogue of arginine that is found in many legumes, and in particularly large amounts in Cannavalia gladiata. This amino acid protects the plants from predators such as insects and can cause illness in people if some types of legumes are eaten without processing. The non-protein amino acid mimosine is found in other species of legume, in particular Leucina leucocephala. 
This compound is an analogue of tyrosine and can poison animals that graze on these plants. Amino acids are used for a variety of applications in industry, but their main use is as additives to animal feed. This is necessary, since many of the bulk components of these feeds, such as soybeans, either have low levels or lack some of the essential amino acids, lysine, methionine, threonine, and tryptophan are most important in the production of these feeds. In this industry, amino acids are also used to chelate metal cations in order to improve the absorption of minerals from supplements, which may be required to improve the health or production of these animals. The food industry is also a major consumer of amino acids, in particular, glutamic acid, which is used as a flavor enhancer, and aspartame as a low-calorie artificial sweetener. Similar technology to that used for animal nutrition is employed in the human nutrition industry to alleviate symptoms of mineral deficiencies, such as anemia by improving mineral absorption and reducing negative side effects from inorganic mineral supplementation. The chelating ability of amino acids has been used in fertilizers for agriculture to facilitate the delivery of minerals to plants in order to correct mineral deficiencies, such as iron chlorosis. These fertilizers are also used to prevent deficiencies from occurring and improving the overall health of the plants. The remaining production of amino acids is used in the synthesis of drugs and cosmetics. Similarly, some amino acids derivatives are used in pharmaceutical industry. They include 5-HTP used for experimental treatment of depression, L-DOPA for Parkinson's treatment, an eflornithine drug that inhibits ornithine decarboxylase and used in the treatment of sleeping sickness. Since 2001, 40 non-natural amino acids have been added into protein by creating a unique codon and a corresponding transfer RNA amino acyltronosynthetase pair to encode it with diverse physicochemical and biological properties in order to be used as a tool to exploring protein structure and function or to create novel or enhanced proteins. Expanded Genetic Code Nullomers are codons that in theory code for an amino acid, however in nature there is a selective bias against using this codon in favor of another, for example bacteria prefer to use CGA instead of AGA to code for arginine. This creates some sequences that do not appear in the genome. This characteristic can be taken advantage of and used to create new selective cancer-fighting drugs and to prevent cross-contamination of DNA samples from crime scene investigations. Amino acids are important as low-cost feedstocks. These compounds are used in chiral pool synthesis as enantiomerically pure building blocks. Amino acids have been investigated as precursors chiral catalysts, e.g., for asymmetric hydrogenation reactions, although no commercial applications exist. Nullomers Chemical building blocks Biodegradable plastics Amino acids are under development as components of a range of biodegradable polymers. These materials have applications as environmentally friendly packaging and in medicine in drug delivery and the construction of prosthetic implants. These polymers include polypeptides, polyamides, polyesters, polysulfides, and polyurethanes with amino acids either forming part of their main chains or bonded as side chains. These modifications alter the physical properties and reactivities of the polymers. An interesting example of such materials is polyaspartate, a water-soluble biodegradable polymer that may have applications in disposable diapers and agriculture. Due to its solubility and ability to chelate metal ions, 
polyaspartate is also being used as a biodegradable anti-scaling agent and a corrosion inhibitor. In addition, the aromatic amino acid tyrosine is being developed as a possible replacement for toxic phenols such as bisphenol A in the manufacture of polycarbonates. As amino acids have both a primary amine group and a primary carboxyl group, these chemicals can undergo most of the reactions associated with these functional groups. These include nucleophilic addition, amide bond formation, and amine formation for the amine group, and esterification, amide bond formation, and decarboxylation for the carboxylic acid group. The combination of these functional groups allow amino acids to be effective polydentate ligands for metal amino acid chelates. The multiple side chains of amino acids can also undergo chemical reactions. The types of these reactions are determined by the groups on these side chains and are, therefore, different between the various types of amino acid. Several methods exist to synthesize amino acids. One of the oldest methods begins with the bromination at the alpha carbon of a carboxylic acid. Nucleophilic substitution with ammonia then converts the alkyl bromide to the amino acid. In alternative fashion, the Strecker amino acid synthesis involves the treatment of an aldehyde with potassium cyanide and ammonia. This produces an alpha amino nitrile as an intermediate. Hydrolysis of the nitrile in acid then yields a alpha amino acid. Using ammonia or ammonium salts in this reaction gives unsubstituted amino acids, whereas substituting primary and secondary amines will yield substituted amino acids. Likewise, using ketones, instead of aldehydes, gives alpha-alpha disubstituted amino acids. The classical synthesis gives racemic mixtures of alpha amino acids as products, but several alternative procedures using asymmetric auxiliaries or asymmetric catalysts have been developed. At the current time, the most adopted method is an automated synthesis on a solid support, using protecting groups and activating groups. As both the amine and carboxylic acid groups of amino acids can react to form amide bonds, one amino acid molecule can react with another and become joined through an amide linkage. This polymerization of amino acids is what creates proteins. This condensation reaction yields the newly formed peptide bond and a molecule of water. In cells, this reaction does not occur directly. Instead, the amino acid is first activated by attachment to a transfer RNA molecule through an ester bond. This amino acylterna is produced in an ADP-dependent reaction carried out by an amino acyl tRNA synthetase. This amino acylterna is then a substrate for the ribosome, which catalyzes the attack of the amino group of the elongating protein chain on the ester bond. As a result of this mechanism, all proteins made by ribosomes are synthesized starting at their N-terminus and moving toward their C-terminus. Reactions However, not all peptide bonds are formed in this way. In a few cases, peptides are synthesized by specific enzymes. For example, the tripeptide glutathione is an essential part of the defenses of cells against oxidative stress. This peptide is synthesized in two steps from free amino acids. In the first step, gamma-glutamyl cysteine synthetase condenses cysteine and glutamic acid through a peptide bond formed between the side chain carboxyl of the glutamate and the amino group of the cysteine. This dipeptide is then condensed with glycine by glutathione synthetase to form glutathione. In chemistry, peptides are synthesized by a variety of reactions. One of the most used in solid phase peptide synthesis uses the aromatic oxim derivatives of amino acids as activated units. 
These are added in sequence onto the growing peptide chain, which is attached to a solid resin support. The ability to easily synthesize vast numbers of different peptides by varying the types and order of amino acids has made peptide synthesis particularly important in creating libraries of peptides for use in drug discovery through high throughput screening. In plants, nitrogen is first assimilated into organic compounds in the form of glutamate, formed from alpha ketoglutarate and ammonia in the mitochondrion. In order to form other amino acids, the plant uses transaminases to move the amino group to another alpha-keto carboxylic acid. For example, aspartate aminotransferase converts glutamate and oxalostate to alpha-ketoglutarate and aspartate. Other organisms use transaminases for amino acid synthesis, too. Non-standard amino acids are usually formed through modifications to standard amino acids. For example, homocysteine is formed through the transsulfuration pathway or by the demethylation of methionine via the intermediate metabolite S-adenosylmethionine, while hydroxyproline is made by a post-translational modification of proline. Microorganisms and plants can synthesize many uncommon amino acids. For example, some microbes make two aminoisobutyric acid and lanthionine, which is a sulfide bridged derivative of alanine. Both of these amino acids are found in peptidic lantibiotics such as alamethacin. However, in plants, 1 aminocyclopropane 1 carboxylic acid is a small disubstituted cyclic amino acid that is a key intermediate in the production of the plant hormone ethylene. Amino acids must first pass out of organelles and cells into blood circulation via amino acid transporters, since the amine and carboxylic acid groups are typically ionized. Degradation of an amino acid occurring in the liver and kidneys, often involves deamination by moving its amino group to alpha-ketoglutarate, forming glutamate. This process involves transaminases, often the same as those used in amination during synthesis. In many vertebrates, the amino group is then removed through the urea cycle and is excreted in the form of urea. However, Amino acid degradation can produce uric acid or ammonia instead. For example, serine dehydratase converts serine to pyruvate and ammonia. After removal of one or more amino groups, the remainder of the molecule can sometimes be used to synthesize new amino acids, or it can be used for energy by entering glycolysis or the citric acid cycle, as detailed in image at right. The 20 amino acids encoded directly by the genetic code can be divided into several groups based on their properties. Important factors are charge, hydrophilicity or hydrophobicity, size, and functional groups. These properties are important for protein structure and protein-protein interactions. The water-soluble proteins tend to have their hydrophobic residues buried in the middle of the protein, whereas hydrophilic side chains are exposed to the aqueous solvent. The integral membrane proteins tend to have outer rings of exposed hydrophobic amino acids that anchor them into the lipid bilayer. In the case partway between these two extremes, some peripheral membrane proteins have a patch of hydrophobic amino acids on their surface that locks onto the membrane. In similar fashion, proteins that have to bind to positively charged molecules have surfaces rich with negatively charged amino acids like glutamate and aspartate, while proteins binding to negatively charged molecules have surfaces rich with positively charged chains like lysine and arginine. There are different hydrophobicity scales of amino acid residues. Some amino acids have special properties such as cysteine, 
that can form covalent disulfide bonds to other cysteine residues, proline that forms a cycle to the polypeptide backbone, and glycine that is more flexible than other amino acids. Many proteins undergo a range of post-translational modifications, when additional chemical groups are attached to the amino acids in proteins. Some modifications can produce hydrophobic lipoproteins, or hydrophilic glycoproteins. These type of modification allow the reversible targeting of a protein to a membrane. For example, the addition and removal of the fatty acid palmitic acid to cysteine residues in some signaling proteins causes the proteins to attach and then detach from cell membranes. Class Chemical Synthesis Peptide Bond Formation Polarity Charge Biosynthesis Lambda Max Catabolism Physicochemical Properties of Amino Acids Table of Standard Amino Acid Abbreviations and Properties and Notes Lambda Max In Proteins Two additional amino acids are in some species coded for by codons that are usually interpreted as stop codons. In addition to the specific amino acid codes, placeholders are used in cases where chemical or crystallographic analysis of a peptide or protein cannot conclusively determine the identity of a residue. They are also used to summarize conserved protein sequence motifs. The use of single letters to indicate sets of similar residues is similar to the use of abbreviation codes for degenerate bases. UNC is sometimes used instead of ZAT, but is less standard. In addition, many non-standard amino acids have a specific code. For example, several peptide drugs, such as bortezomib and MG132, are artificially synthesized and retain their protecting groups, which have specific codes. Bortezomib is PYZPHEBORLEU, and MG132 is ZLEULEULEULEUAL. To aid in the analysis of protein structure, photoreactive amino acid analogs are available. These include photoleucine and photomethionine. <laughs>